are in Clonus for the latest swathe of videos. And tonight we're concentrating on sports. Down through the years, Clonus had an abundance of sports people. We had boxers, footballers, cyclists, dart throwers, snooker players, professional gamblers, the whole lot. Come on, I'll tell you a few stories. Here we are outside of the bookies. As the bow Lemmy from Motorhead once said, you win some, you lose some. It's all the same to me. But one particular character from the town, Totes Maguire, wasn't that lucky at all. In fact, he backed a horse one time and it actually won, but then the horse had a heart attack. And someone says, you're a jinx, Totes. Totes says, I know rightly, he says, I'm that unlucky if I died and was reincarnated, I'd come back as myself. Years ago, in 1985, you might have heard tell of a man by the name of Barry McGuigan. Now, Barry McGuigan was the world title holder in 1985, and he cut the lugs of a man by the name of Eusebio Pedroza in QPR's ground, Loftus Road, on a sultry June night. As Barry won the title, tragedy struck in Clonus, for there was a fire started at the back of McGuigan's shop here. Half the town was in London, the other half was in Clonus. One family member was shouting out to the window, help, help, we're on fire, we're on fire. And old Brendan McKenna, who was walking home at about three o'clock in the morning, he shouts out, so we're all on fire, and walks on. So the GA was founded in 1884, and most of the clubs around Ireland were founded in or around them years. But one man founded a club in the 1980s, and that was Brian Fay, and he called the club Tour Davits. Now there's some that would say it should have been called Tour Davnitz, but that's up to them. One of the stories I've heard about Brian was years ago, he was going on holiday to the resort in Calvin, known as Lachlan House. He was in for two weeks stay. He got onto the bus where there was 13 or 14 boys, all downhearted and looking sad. And Brian turns to the bus and he says, have we a full team? So here we are at the Creighton Corner. And this story concerns a man by the name of Francie Howard. You might have remembered Francie. Francie was the editor of raw mince and raw butcher sausages from Davies. One stage, he was in trainer's bar eating a pound of raw sausages and a wee kitten was eaten at the other end. And Francie, someone says, only the cat let go with it. It would have got eat as well. But here's the story on the morning after Barry McGuigan's famous victory when he became world title back in June 1985. On the morning after it, Francie was lying here at the Creighton Corner in his bare feet, a string vest, a pair of trousers and there's a goat tied to his arm. There's a reporter from the Sun newspaper seen this scene and he says to himself, well, there's a story there. Hello, mate. I'm from the Sun. What do you think of McGuigan's fight then? I'm sorry, son. I don't talk to the gutter press. So here we are at the Peace Link. This is now the home of Clona Sports. And what a facility we have here. But this story concerns a man by the name of PJ Proby Riley. Now, PJ was the most successful manager Clonus Town Soccer Club ever had. They won the treble in one year, and they also got to the quarter final of the FEI Junior Cup. Some achievement. Anyway, there was one particular game Clonus were playing, and re referee and decisions were going 50 50. But one of the decisions, PJ decided, no, that's not right. So he shouts onto the pitch, he says, Hey, you blind referee! Referee stops the game, comes over, and he says to PJ, what did you say? Are oh, you deaf as well? Red card. Sports, they're good for you. Now, please come up and use this facility. That's what it's all about. But if you want to become a top athlete, do not use performance enhancing drugs. And also, another word of warning. We can't leave without telling one more story about John Rehill. Years and years ago, before the peace, Clonus were playing a friendly game in the north. So I'm not sure who won the game, but I'm sure it was Clonus. But it was a long time ago. This is when the troubles were going hard. Anyway, the players all went home in the bus, but there's a few lads went over to watch the game, along with John Rehill, had to hitch home 
They were walking down the town anyway and wanted to come across only a British army patrol. At the start of this big Geordie soldier says, what are you doing? You erupting no good. Giving them hassle guns, the boys were scared, senseless. They didn't know what to do. They were only 15 or 16 at the time, so it was understandable enough. Anyway, they were giving them with the guns are going like this here. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing this? Doing that? Next thing, they turn to John Rehill and says, Oh, what have you got to say for yourself, man? John Rehill looks him square in the eye and he says, Who do you think will come out of Bolster of the Year? Thank you so much for tuning in and listening. And we'd like to thank the library and all those that contributed to this wee project. Mm -hmm.